Hey guys, um, I'm going to bring you a new video today of uh, myself playing in the new Sheridan. It's the tier 10 American light tank right after the T-49 which is now uh, the tier 9. But I, you can see I've went with the dirt gun again on the Sheridan. I tried out the other gun. I actually find the dirt gun to be more reliable, strangely enough. And there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, you can see that my uh, reticle isn't doing quite as bad with blooming while I'm on the move. So that, that helps. There's also uh, a lot, there's a uh, less aim time on this gun now, and you can see here, <laughs> right off the bat, getting good use out of the dirt gun there. But the Sheridan has a couple of advantages over the T49. One is reduced aim time, and the other is improved accuracy with this gun. So it's actually a lot more effective on this tank than it is on the T-49. But uh, this is probably my first game in this tank. So I just wanted to get a video up of the gameplay in it. Just so you can see how it would handle a little bit. Uh, there's... This is... I think this is going to be my uh, favorite tier 10 light tank, the same way the T-49 was one of my favorite tier 8s. Uh, it, it's actually a lot of fun. But uh, the game's going to go fairly slow here for a bit. But later on, later on in the game you'll see why I enjoy it so much. This game actually does turn out to be a loss. <laughs> that you can't see the damage on that, but it actually ended up being like 900 and something. Plus, I set him on fire, so I ended up killing. Him. But uh, there's, I know in our clan we've been debating which tier 10 light tank would be the most effective for clan wars and uh, I'm not real sure what my opinion on that argument will be I I really do like the Sheridan though uh, with the lower penetration and terrible accuracy of all of the tier 10 light tanks I think the Sheridan is second on accuracy with the other gun, but uh, only the German has better accuracy. Uh, the other re one of the other reasons I like the Sheridan is it comes with the base 420 view range, which I was afraid it wasn't going to. I thought they were going to nerf that on all the tier 10 light tanks. But the, that's one of the reasons I am going with the Sheridan over the uh, the Russian one. I, I can't even remember the name of it at the moment. But the Russian Tier 10 light tank has a 390 base view range compared to the 420 on the Sheridan. is isn't one of the other reasons I prefer this tank but yeah this this game is not going well for my team I mean at all I sit back here in this spot entirely too long trying to light for the arty and it just doesn't work but even even with this game being as bad of a game as it is, I still ended up doing fairly decent in this game. I think I 
end up with around 4,000 damage. But, uh, I mean, the reticle was fairly big for that shot, but like I said, the accuracy of this tank is so much better than the uh, T-49. I feel a lot more confident in this tank than I do the T-49. Also, you should note the uh, HP of the vehicle. It's up to 1600, which definitely helps. Just to have a little more HP to mess around with. Take them a little longer to kill you. Uh, there was a pretty good show of the mobility. I was able to chase that bulldog the whole time. And he wasn't able to get away from me. So, I mean, this thing is fairly mobile. Uh, compared to the T-49. I think the T-49 has a little less mobility to it than the Sheridan. And uh, here comes one of the funniest shots of the game for you. <laughs> yeah, what are the chances, right? So this is the Sheridan with the uh, same derp gun as the T-49. Um, but I think you'll agree it, it does seem to handle a lot better than the T-49. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and get some better games in this tank to upload and let y'all take a look at them. Uh, I guess that's it.